Hi everyone, I'm Ivan Rolandini, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a very simple and funny stylized hamburger in Blender. Let's get started. So, here we are into Blender. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is to delete our default cube. Then, we're gonna need to create a new UV sphere, something like that. Then, to create the bun of the hamburger, we're gonna need to go to edit mode, go to face, delete all the down faces like this. Then we're gonna need to delete this middle vertices. After that, we're gonna need to select all the loop, click F to close it. After that, we're gonna need to select these bottom vertices, let's extrude it down to the Z axis, something like this, and then we're gonna need to close it. Once you've done with this, let's scale it to the Z axis, something like this, here we are, and now just simply shade it smooth and add a subdivision modifier. Perfect. The last thing that we're gonna need is to create a little bevel down here. Something like this will work just fine. Perfect. Once we're done with it, just duplicate it, rotate it by 180 degree, and let's go down here. Perfect. So now we can call it bun up and bun down perfect so now let's hide our upper bun and let's create the salad so let's create a circle let's go to edit mode let's close it something like this then we're gonna need to add a subdivision modifier something like this, perfect. Then we're gonna need to add a displace modifier, create a new, add a new texture, go to the textures, let's select uh, like a cloud, and then go back down here. So now let's shade it smooth, let's add another subdivision modifier, something like this, and we start to see something. Just take down a little the strength, and we have our super good solid. So now let's just solidify it, something like this, and we're fine. So let's get it down to our bun, perfect. After that, we're gonna need to create the hamburger. So let's get a cylinder, just like this. Scale it down to the Z axis, to something like this. So now we're gonna need to apply the scale. Let's now go to edit mode. Let's now select the two edge loops bevel it to something like this. I think it will work just fine. Perfect, shade it smooth, add a subdivision modifier, something like this. After that, we're gonna need to add another displace modifier. Let's click on new, let's go down here, let's select a noise. After that, we're gonna need to bump down the strength perfect let's add another subdivision modifier something like this and now we can just simply work with our displace map to create a more ham like hamburger so Let's drag it down to the salad. 
After that, we're gonna need to create our cheese. So let's create a plane. Let's go to edit mode. Let's subdivide it for like, I will do something like 20, just perfect. After that, we're gonna need to get a subdivision modifier. Then we're gonna need to get our solidify modifier. Let's bump up a little the thickness to something like this, just perfect. So now let's bring our cheese down to the hamburger, something like this. After that, we're gonna need to go to edit mode. Let's enable our proportional editing. And now let's play with our cheese to get it more like flattened down to the hem. So once you feel good with the cheese, let's subdivide it two times like this, shady smooth. And here we have our cheesy cheddar on our hamburger. After that, we're gonna need to create our tomatoes. So let's create our tomato slices. So let's go with a cylinder. Here we are, let's scale it down to the x-axis, something like this. Let's scale it down to something like this, just perfect. After that, we're gonna need to get a subdivision modifier. Then we're gonna need to go into edit mode, select our top face. Let's insect another face, something like this, then we can extrude it down a little bit just to create a little up tomato shape, something like this. Let's go even on this side to something like this. Let's extrude it up a little, something like this. Okay, so now that we have it, we can simply drag it down to cheddar. Let's now move it a little bit something like this. We can even rotate it a little bit just to seem like it's going one up the other, something like this. Let's get another one like this. And I think that's perfect for our purposes. We can even drag it a little bit. We don't care if they're gonna go one up on the other because we're gonna get our upper bun. So let's now drag down our bun. Let's go to something like this. Let's scale a little bit our salad. Just like this. And here we have it. So now Another thing that we can do is to scale another time down our top bun, just to get it a little different from the bottom, but scale down a little even the bottom part, something like this. So now the last thing that we're gonna need is the sesame seeds on the top bun. So let's create it. Let's go into particles. Let's create a new one. Here we have it. So now we're gonna need to create the season seed. So let's create one. Let's go to create a cylinder, something like this. Let's scale it down, just perfect. After that, we're gonna need to go to edit mode. Let's add some loop cuts, something like this, then we're gonna need to select our top and bottom vertices. 
let's scale it down let's scale in z axis something like this after that we can add a subdivision modifier something like this let's say this let's shade it smooth let's now insect in these two faces something like this let's scale it into the z axis something like this and here we have our perfect season seed so now that we have it let's just scale it down a little bit and apply the scale okay so now let's go back to our particle system let's change it to hair let's go down to render let's render as an object let's select our system seed here we have it okay so now turn on the rotation let's bump up our randomized phase just perfect now let's scale up our objects to one let's go down to 0 0.8 down here after that we're gonna need to bump down the number of seats to something like this let's now scale a little bit the randomness just to get something more realistic and then just play with the seed until you get a result that you feel confident with and here we have our final burger model in the next video i will show you how to create the materials and how to render it in this beautiful pop style if you don't want to miss the new videos subscribe to the channel and if you liked it please leave a like down below we will see you at the next video bye bye